On the path forward now, COVID did not stop football season this year, but health officials warned sports our kids are about to play could become super spreader events. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live with those concerns. Andrea? Yeah, Greg, and you might recall at the beginning of this pandemic, the city mobile put locks on the gates here and uh, removed the rims from the basketball goals at the courts to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. But pretty soon city basketball rec leagues will be starting up already this week. High school varsity basketball teams could begin practice and health officials say there's a risk. This basketball season, you likely won't see people packed in together on bleachers. Health guidelines will space fans apart if they're allowed. But health officials say it's important to understand the risks involved with attending in the first place. You don't have the airflow inside to disperse the droplets that you will um, in an outside sporting event. And so the, the probability of transmission is likely higher. Studies also show during heavy exercise, because you're breathing harder, you can transmit a higher viral load, infecting others. On Friday, the CDC issued a warning about indoor sports becoming super spreader events, reporting a case study where one hockey player infected 14 others during an indoor game that took place in Florida in June. You can have a split second of contact with enough viral transfer for a positive individual to infect them, a, a negative individual. Epidemiologist Dr. Scott Shavers says shared equipment can also cause the virus to spread. You have more individuals actually touching the ball, and so that is now a source of transmission. You also have more close contact on, on, in a, on a basketball court because you have your defender and your offensive players, and they are closer to each other typically than you do you know in terms of football. Now I reached out to numerous local municipalities and school districts today to see what kind of modifications and changes we might expect this basketball season of those who actually got back with me today. They tell me they're still working on that. The city of Mobile told me that it expects to make announcements next week. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.